two days off now leading into it, it would seem like the bullpen. Everybody's going to be rested, no question. Uh, probably the best scenario to go into a situation like that. Um, I've never been a fan, though, of the 1 o'clock, 7 o'clock game. I, don't, I know the new ballparks or even the old ballparks that sell out cause that. Uh, I understand all that. It's still, I think it's suboptimal regarding just uh, the players and their health, etc. Just because you're there all day? or no, you're there all day. Absolutely, you're there from whatever, 9 in the morning until possibly midnight. And there's always this gap in between playing, too. And then you, you get hot, then you get cool, then you get hot, that kind of stuff. So um, I just never liked the concept. Of, I, I, like, I don't mind a doubleheader. The doubleheaders are fine. You play, you take a 20-minute break, and you play. But the other one, you're, it's, it's kind of crazy. Right. And you, you put, obviously, a lot of fun in how you use your bullpen on a typical day. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? differently because of the day night. It's Not really. You, you just, you just try to both. win the first game. You try to win the first game and if and after that then you count what's available and then you go for the second game. So um, pretty much the game always or normally dictates to you what you can or cannot do. Or um, You always try to make plans but the, the game itself can blow those up where they can, it can cooperate. So just, we'll just play that first game and then see what happens with the pin and then go to plan B or the second game. Right, so you don't hold someone back that could help you win the first game because you're worried about using them in the second game or reliever? No, not at all. No, no. No, you win the first game because you have no idea what's going to happen in the second game. You have no idea. You can win 15-1 or lose 15-1. You have no idea what that's going to shake out to be. Is that one of the reasons why?